All right, good morning everybody. My name is Wade Austin. I'm with Tri-State Bobcat. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Buffalo Turbine. Um, this is a debris type blower. So you can see on the front here we've got a 12 inch chute. Now you can put different size nozzles on this for uh, different applications. Now where or why would I want to use this type of attachment? Uh, it's got various uses. Uh, it's great for blowing off athletic fields fall cleanup, leaves, debris. I've seen a lot of applications where people use these for cleaning off solar panels, and blowing snow around. This nozzle is capable of rotating 360 degrees. It is a high flow unit. It can flow up to 40 gallons per minute with a minimum of 18 gallons per minute. Pretty simple hookup on this. Hooks right up to any of our Bobcat pieces of equipment, our Toolcat UW56, or any type of skid loader. Just got a simple male female connector here. No seven pin on this. This does have to run off a battery in order to actuate your chute. Okay, besides our two hydraulic hoses, I do have an electrical setup. Now I've kind of temporarily hooked this up just for our uh, purposes today. It does actuate the chute off this remote here, up or down, left or right. And temporarily I have it hooked into my motorcycle battery. Uh, Otherwise, if you want a permanent setup, it's quite easy to run this wiring harness back to your battery. And uh, this isn't a magnetic type adapter, so you can basically place it anywhere in your cab. But for today, today's purposes, again, this will just be a temporary setup. Let's get rolling with our turbine here. I'm gonna start my tool cat up. Now you can see here with the remote, I can actuate this up and down. That'll turn my turbine chute right there. And you can adjust the arms up and play with the angle too, depending on what you're trying to do with it. I want to keep the arm down low here, and angle the chute towards the ground. So now I'm going to turn on my auxiliary hydraulics here. Again, the Toolcat is a high flow machine, so I will actuate that into high flow. I'm gonna give it a bit of throttle here. Now I'm gonna engage the turbine. This turbine can spin up to 3,600 RPMs, which creates quite a bit of flow. 